Hello YouTube, welcome back to Guns and Ink. Um, I want to welcome my three new subscribers, which is Randy Moon, Jasmine Flame, this last one, I'm probably going to butcher it, but Mark Three SMLE, I don't know if it's supposed to say something, but welcome. Um, hope you guys like what you see. Uh, like I said before, I never really did too much on YouTube, it was just always like a dumbass video here or there. Um, but I'm changing that. I'm going to start doing stuff every day between shooting and talking, a little bit of politics mixed in with it, like the video yesterday. Um, anyway, thank you guys for sharing that video if you did share it, uh, and thank you for watching. But anyway, yesterday uh, on Facebook, go figure of all places, you know, keyboard warriors, all the tactical know-it-alls. I got, uh, well, I actually really didn't argue with the guy, but um, I'm not going to mention any names because really I can't remember his name and really don't care, but... Uh, he was saying that a 22 long rifle is a sufficient self-defense weapon for the house. I personally don't believe so. Um, now, in that matter, if that's all you can afford, then that'll work. Because any gun is better than no gun. That's just the way that works. I mean, if all you can afford is uh it, the gun he had was an old rg revolver i don't know if you guys remember the rg revolvers or not i have one in 38 special um but they were kind of hit or miss guns sometimes you get a good one sometimes you get one that man the bullet will come out of the barrel and go backwards um mine it was actually my dad's but it was the first gun i ever shot in my life uh so when he moved back down here uh i confiscated it from him and I do remember as a kid, man, you couldn't hit anything with it. So I took it, I laser sighted it, adjusted the sights, took it out. That thing is a nail driver out to about 35 yards. I mean, it'll really put it where you want it. So I got, well, he got lucky and got one of the good ones. Just the sights needed to be adjusted. But anyway, um, so back to uh, the 22. Like I said, I personally don't believe 22 is a good caliber for self-defense unless you're a mafia hitman, and even then, they mostly would probably tie you up and shoot you in the back of the head or get you when you're sleeping. So that's a different story. But my thing is, okay, you go out, you train with it, which apparently he does, and I'm going to believe that he does. You go out, you train with it at the range, you train, 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 you know, countless rounds, and then you become proficient with it, which is great, because that's what you're supposed to do. But now set the real life scenario. It's 2 a.m., you're dead asleep, you, your wife, kids, dogs, cats, rats, snakes, whatever, everything in your house is asleep. Well, maybe not the cats, but it's 2 a.m., all of a sudden the front door gets kicked in, or you hear glass breaking, so, if, if, if you're not a super heavy sleeper, you hear it, you wake up, you grab your gun, you run out there to see what's going on, you're probably going to be in your damn boxers or some kind of sleeping shorts, you're, you know, you're not going to have any extra ammunition on you, and granted in that RG revolver, it's only six shots, so you got six chances to hit somebody, or if you do manage to hit them six times, you got six chances to drop somebody, all right, so what if... Oh, well, hold on, before I go to the what-ifs, all right, so you're, you're woken out of your slumber. You, your eyes are like, you, you can't really see straight. Hell, you're having a hard time trying to, you know, hold yourself up because you, you just abruptly got awoken out of bed, grabbed a gun, and now you're hauling ass to find out who it is, what it is, what happened, all right? You go to the range, you train, you're awake, you've been awake, you've had breakfast, coffee, you know, lunch, whatever, but you're awake, you know what you're doing, you know, you have your fine motor skills, you know, your cognitive thinking's on, so you can do what you need to do. Not when you wake up, you're like, Ugh. you grab your gun and it takes everything you have to grab the gun and maybe stick it in front of you and realize what the hell you're aiming at. Okay, so now you've taken your six shots, you miss all six times. Now what? Now you gotta reload. And if that's the only gun you have loaded next to your bed, you're fucked. Because either this guy's going to kill you. He might run away after six shots. I mean, probably the first two shots he might run away. Maybe not. He might shoot back. But now, the what-if scenarios. What if 
guy breaks in, he's on meth or some kind of drug where he doesn't feel pain. All right. I'm, I'm former corrections down here in Florida. Um, watch many, many, many videos on people getting shot on drugs, meth especially, and a few other ones. You know, and, they're, and these guys are using 40 caliber hollow points, you know, anywhere from 165 grain to 180 grain. And maybe some of them even 200 grain, but th those are very uncommon. So we'll just stick between the 165 and 180 grain. And these guys empty 14, 15 rounds, and then this guy, yeah, he may have hit the knee, you know, hit his knees, but he's still coming at you. And a lot of them, they were center mass shots, close to the heart and everything. Okay? But he's on meth. His adrenaline's going. He gets shot, so now his adrenaline pumps even harder. So now he's still going. All right? And you're sitting there with a six shot 22 and you've used all six shots and this guy is still coming at you full force with a knife, a gun, a bat, a, a machete, a something. What are you going to do? You're going to run in your bedroom. You're going to lock the door. You're going to attempt to reload. The guy's going to kick it down and probably kick your ass. Unless, you know, you, you're good in hand-to-hand -hand combat, stuff like that. Okay. Now, I don't use a 22 for self-defense now 22 magnum i may not have argued so much but it's still a 22 but a 22 magnum is uh it's a lot better than than a 22 long rifle and i don't have any 22 magnums I, I shot all mine but i have a 22 caliber right here itty bitty little thing it's not i mean it's squirrels rats snakes yeah that's great um you know, and then my 9mm here, just, just let's do a little size comparison in rounds. And I think a 9mm is the bare minimum self-defense. But they're almost the same size as you can see. But let me try and get this closer. Now, now you can see the difference in the diameter of the projectile. Okay, not a lot of powder, more powder, which equals more power. Okay, now granted, oh, these are 150 grain Federal HSTs. They move subsonic, they move roughly 850 to 880 feet per second, depending on what size barrel you're shooting it out of. Um, but the 22 is not a self defense round. I'm sorry, you can believe it if you want. But like I said, I don't use 22 for self defense, so I don't own semi automatic 22s and I don't own double action, single action 22s. I own this. For a 22 handgun. It's a Heritage Rough Rider. Yes, I do have the Magnum cylinder for it. Um, just in case you're going to wonder. But this is the closest I have. Okay, this is a single action. For those of you who don't know, that means when you pull the trigger, it doesn't go bang. You have to manually cock the hammer every time. Now, this has a safety on it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right here can't see it but you can hear it what it does is there's a bar that comes up so maybe you can see it the hammer doesn't go all the way down so it won't hit the firing pin but so to use this weapon you have to like I said manually cock it pull the trigger to make it go bang but manually cock it again okay but anyway with the double action you just keep pulling the trigger so I'm not going to compare a 22 to any other caliber for penetration test but let's do some penetration tests with the 22 all right guys what i got here is just a pot of water now this is just to represent the uh the impact that it has the force that it can bring all right or not can bring <laughs> The, uh, the, the foot pounds of energy it has, the energy transfer, that's what I'm trying to say. I had a little brain fart. Um, but basically, what you're looking for, <coughs> I know it's not going to go through, but you're going to look and see how much water actually flies up out of there from the impact. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to shoot it and see what happens. So it did go through. I wasn't predicting that. But there wasn't that much water that flew out of it. Alright. 
Now 22s, they're, they're halfway decent at going through crap, just because they are moving pretty quick, even out of a little handgun. But that doesn't show internal damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some chicken, chicken breasts, because it's got more meat, and then we'll look at the tissue damage on that. So, back in a minute. All right guys, so I don't know if you can see it or not, and the sun's really bright, and it's hard for me to see in, in my camera. But the chicken's right here. And it wasn't breast, sorry, it was uh, chicken quarters, but I cut them up. So you got drumstick, thigh, drumstick, thigh. All right, and then uh, just using 22 long rifle. We're going to uh, go ahead and shoot this and look at penetration and also the internal damage, which is the most important part of what you're looking for. All right, so here we go. Hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what happens. So, obviously the first drumstick, it blew right through. Went to the second breast. Came out looking kind of gnarly there. Not bad. I don't know if you can maybe you can see that. That's the uh, exit there. Then proceeded to go to the other drumstick, which is right here. Not not too bad. Kind of nasty. And then the final one. This is the entrance hole right here. And then. The exit hole which isn't that impressive so my honest opinion I'm gonna say that 22 long rifle 22 long rifle is not a sufficient self-defense round. now some people may argue with me from what you've seen it did take a nice chunk out of the bone and a couple of the exit wounds look pretty nasty, but uh, <laughs> the one exit wound that looks nasty, I, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to have to attribute that to the bone that came flying through because that was the bone that it took off and then went into that piece and that's, that's what I think caused that, sorry, and because you've seen the final exit wound was not impressive. Now granted... <laughs> Chicken is probably not the best thing to use um, because chicken is a bird. And birds, if you paid attention in science class, birds have hollow bones. So they're not as dense as human bones. But needless to say, they are bones. Just not the best ones to uh, try and get a test on. But the meat, on the other hand, um, is, is not bad to test on but my opinion and you can take it or leave it how you want it I wouldn't use 20 long rifle 22 long rifle for self-defense at all unless it was the absolute last gun and only choice that I ever had then I would but hope you like the video uh, please share it if you like it uh, click subscribe give it a like leave a comment thank you and I'll see you again